Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Rhonda. I was actually in the middle of doing a get ready with me, <laughs> so you'll probably see the get ready with me using subscription boxes and all of that uh, before you'll see this grocery haul. So, any who's it, uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the judgment free, drama free, stress free zone. It is not even 8.30 in the morning and your girl is being productive on a Monday. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, if you are new here, welcome. Uh, I like to do monthly grocery hauls. Now, the last grocery haul that I did was March 1st, March 3rd or something. It's, it's, our, it's up on the channel. And I do I do differently I think than most people I used to do weekly grocery hauls and I found that I was spending too much money uh, so I condense it down to a monthly grocery haul I give myself a budget of $600 now with that $600 that is for everything from toilet paper paper tiles anything and everything and I also prep uh, my prepper pantry if you will with prices on the rise i do try to think ahead some of this is for groceries this month what we'll be using some is to stock my prepper pantry and um, make my life much easier i will tell you all i uh this is my walmart haul they are shipping i think one or two items to me it's just like skyline chili dip or skyline chili I will also have a Siam's, an Aldi, and a Costco in here as well. All of that together came in under $300. I'm super excited. So that's what I'm gonna try and do this month is do like a $300 grocery haul feeding four to six people in our family. I only say four to six because my oldest is gonna be 22 and she no longer lives at home but obviously comes and visits. Uh, my husband's son, he has half the time, so he's here a little bit too, but on our typical day, we have four mouths to feed. So, let's go ahead and jump into this Walmart haul. Well, this everything haul. <laughs> okay, so my Walmart order came to about $69, unfortunately. Price is going up. It is what it is. I mean, I could sit and dwell on it, but I'm not gonna. All right, I like to call myself an oyster cracker connoisseur. I know, it's ridiculous. My favorite are Walmarts, not Kroger's, not Aldi's, not Amazon's, but Walmart. They have the best. It reminds me kind of like Skyline Chili, if y'all are from around the Cincinnati area, or even... I'd say gold, or not gold star. I'd say definitely it kind of reminds me of Skyline. I love them. So I got, I thought I got six bags, but I guess I got five. So it's fine. Um, I did need to stock up on, or just restock um, my hydrogen peroxide just to have. This is one of those items that I did want in my prepper pantry in like the pharmacy side of things. Uh, so this is good for cleaning. I don't use it on our wounds. I know you're supposed to. Uh, or you can, but that is something that I kind of steer away from. This is actually just a good cleaning product. Anyways, I did pick up some Duo Lash Glue. I am going to try a different way to do my lashes, so we shall see. I did pick up some sliced provolone. I thought I only got one pie, but apparently I picked up two. I did pick up some mozzarella cheese. Some cottage cheese. Uh, they substituted for these little ones I did pick one large one but I'm totally fine with this I am going to use this for tonight's dinner I'm going to make a ravioli lasagna I have been really since the weather's gotten warmer been wanting some hot dogs so we're going to have just regular old hot dogs uh, this week but I also for next week in our meal uh, menu for the week I'm going to do like chili dogs I do believe so I went ahead picked up some buns I also, when I've been craving hot dogs, I love relish. So I did pick up some sweet relish, and then I love to just stock our backup pantry with some condiments. So I got the chicken dipping sauce. This is really good. It's kind of similar to 
the Chick-fil-A. I like to pick up the Taco Bell Baja sauce. We will be having tacos this week. Uh, so I have one that is open, so I always like to make sure to have backup. And then honey mustard dressing. We use this as a dipping sauce for our chicken nugs, and it's great and expensive, and we enjoy it. I love the fact this is only 88 cents. Now, we are planting a garden this year, so we hope to get a lot of tomatoes, and I'm hoping to learn how to can and make my own uh, pasta sauce, so we'll see, fingers crossed, but until then, 88 cents, can't beat it. I like to doctor it up a little bit. I add some ground beef to it, my own seasonings, and I will be using that. To, well, I'll be putting this in the pantry. These are another pantry backup. This is a great, easy type of um, throw together side, and I like to have those when I'm just tired and don't feel like functioning. So pick that up. I always love to pick up their Texas toast. I think it's so good and it's so inexpensive. And then the ravioli, uh, this is the cheese filled ravioli that instead of using actual lasagna noodles, I just use this. For meat, I, as you saw, I picked up two packs of hot dogs, a beef chorizo to restock, and then two ground beefs in a little tube. I also picked up two of my water enhancers and that is everything for this walmart haul so i will be back to show you all what i picked up from costco Sam's, aldi's all of that and again this was like 69 dollars okay so this is my costco haul i only picked up four things as far as fresh produce i think i have some fresh produce coming from aldi's and from Sam's. i do already have some on hand so I love to get the hard-boiled eggs because I love to make deviled eggs I always pick up the erythritol monk fruit from Costco it's I think it's like $8.99 $9 and something I do go ahead and just pick up the keto friendly bread because we do like a lot of bread and this one is low in carbs high in fiber and I do believe it even has protein in here which I do try and have a good amount of protein so looking that it's four grams of protein per slice so I, I don't know and then I love to keep these on hand the peanuts the roasted salted they are delicious and they are extra crunchy so that is my little Costco haul okay so my Siam's order just arrived I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything with you all I will let you all know that I do do price comparison shopping between Walmart, Siam's, Aldi, Costco, all the things. So I personally, let me show y'all. I personally like to get blocked cheese and shred it myself. My husband got me this like nice KitchenAid gadget doohickey and I absolutely love it. Now, Costco on Instacart did raise their block cheese price by like almost a dollar. It's like $6.91 or something like that. Uh, the prices do fluctuate, so you just keep an eye on that. But this was only $5 and change at Sam. So I'm gonna try the Maker's Mark brand of sharp cheddar cheese to shred myself and everything. Hopefully it'll be fine. I don't know what I was thinking on this ginormous bag, but it is what it is. We do love Sister Schubert's dinner rolls. Um, 40, you get 40 in a bag. So it was a better deal than getting like the little bags of eight or nine or ten or whatever it is so pick that up y'all this was only two dollars and change and i've been using this like during the day for lunch or whatever love 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 and i've noticed that the dole brand lasts longer i do put a paper towel in there than like the kroger brand so i'm just sticking with dole from siams i also picked up the Tyson white meat chicken nuggets, they are like $12 in store, $13 if you Instacart. The bear chicken that I used to get over at um, Costco has gone up to like 20 some odd dollars to have it Instacarted to you. So unless I'm in store, I'm not doing that. So I'll pay the extra dollar to have it Instacarted to me. I just did a car vlog talking about how much money you do save. Um, and honestly, it wasn't enough to, for me to warrant the panic attacks, the nerves, and hours of dealing with people. 
<laughs> I, I have very bad social anxiety. So it's just so much easier for me to just go ahead and have everything Instacarted. I wanted to try out the Honey Roasted Turkey Breast from Siam. So this was like $9, I do believe. And I figure if the kids... This is per my pediatrician. If the kids don't like what you put on the dinner table, you are not a made-to-order chef. They can make their own PB&J. They can make their own turkey sandwich. They can make their own ramen. But mom is not a made-to-order chef. And I'm like, this is why you're my pediatrician. <laughs> so he told my kids that when they were like, I don't know, three, five, and nine or something. And that has stuck. My kids now are 16, 17, and almost 22. <laughs> So, and you'll see, I'll show you all my menu board in a minute. This, I've heard really good things about the Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch. This ginormous thing, y'all, was $5. So, went ahead, I'm going to try that out with my salad. We did pick up some more bananas. Thank you for getting them green. I do appreciate that. And I also picked up the Maker's Mark Southern Style Fries. They look like they are like the Chick-fil-A style. So four pound bag, couldn't beat that good price. So that is everything for my Sam's haul. And let's not make fun of the fact that my spelling is horrible. So I'm going to keep you here at a distance. <laughs> so Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday is what I have thus far. Sometimes we'll do like leftovers on the last two. I don't know why Sunday's not in there, but I digress. Over here, you'll see that my youngest scratched off. It says, you don't like dinner? These You make this. And it said PB and J turkey ramen. You moms out there, um, if your kids try and, and do that because at the time um when my pediatrician said that my kids i was a single mom uh and i was like i don't know what to do like if i make one th whatever whatever i digress but yeah my pediatrician looked my three kids dead in the eyes and said look mom's not your made to order chef you don't like it you make your pb and j and that's what they did i don't give them cereal it was a sandwich. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just waiting on my Aldi order to show up. Okay, so here's my Aldi order um, plus these bottled waters. So I, I stopped getting waters in here um, because my kids have like these thermoses or whatnot. And I'm like, we don't need these. Prices are going up on those. Prices actually went down at Aldi on the frost flavored water. So these are like a treat. So since they went down from 55 cents to 45 cents, down 10 cents, I ended up picking like 24 of the flavored waters up. Rule of the house, you can't have only like one, maybe two a day, that's it. For the most part, it is one a day on those. So 45 cents for 24, maybe 26 of them. I had some, but I needed to restock. And like I said, this is going to go away and we have a Berkey water system over here. So I told the kids there's no reason for me to buy water bottles, whatever, uh, only the flavored. Anywho, back to this. So I wasn't for sure if the Bolt House, Lighthouse, whatever, Ranch was going to be available at Sam's because I know that is like a pop-in type of product. These are only like 98 cents a piece or something, and they're good to have on hand. Again, Prepper Pantry, Working Prepper Pantry. So um, I went ahead and picked up two ranches, one blue cheese, a thousand island. Tonight to go with my ravioli lasagna, I'm gonna make these cheesy breadsticks. I thought it was good. Prices did go up on this. This is the little, uh, these used to be like not even, I think $2, like $1.95. They were like almost three or three dollars and change. I was like, oh, anywho, these are nice to have on hand on nights where I'm exhausted. It has been hard as you know what to get sausage. It's always sold out. So I was able to get it for like two dollars and change. I actually really like the Appleton Farms pork sausage. Uh, I use it for dips and whatnot. I prefer it more than the Walmart brand. So don't even bother with the Walmart one. I did pick up some peaches. We do the Fair Life um, an Ultra Filtered Milk. It's lactose free and it is amazing. 
I love to have these bacon bits on hand for easy cooking recipes, y'all. Like, I will throw this in a skillet and um, crisp it up, put it in my recipes. It's fabulous. I love their sugar-free French vanilla. And then I was running low, and I saw a recipe I want to try this week or next with crescent rolls. I found out, like, I was buying the biscuits, and no matter what brand of biscuits I was buying, they were exploding in my fridge because I had them in the back of my refrigerator. Has anyone else had that happen? So weird. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders. I'm close off. That's what I told you soon enough.